Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Warden, the Information Literacy Librarian here at Jim Dan Hill Library. In this short video, we are going to explore the components of an APA-style academic journal citation. In APA, an academic journal citation contains five pieces of information. Number one, the names of the authors. Number two, the year in which the article was published. Number three, the title of the article. Number four, information about the journal, including the title, volume, and issue number, and the page numbers of the journal on which the article being cited appears. Number five, if the article was retrieved online, a DOI or a permanent URL. The first piece of information your readers will expect to see upon looking at your references is the name or names of the authors in the article. A few things to remember about listing the author's names. Number one, they are always listed last name first, comma, then the first initial, and, if present, the second initial. You should never insert an author's full first or middle name. Only list the last name and any initials supplied. Number two, the authors should be listed in your reference in the order in which they appear in the article. Frequently, academic articles put the most noteworthy author first to catch the attention of readers and to lend credibility to the work. They may also be arranging the names in the order of their contribution to the work. Either way, list the names in the order the authors have purposefully arranged them in. Number three, if an article has two to seven authors, use commas and an ampersand to connect them. An article containing more than seven authors will require special formatting, so you should consult the sixth edition of the Publication Manual of the American Psychological Association for more information. The next piece of information we will need to add to our citation is the year in which the work was published. This can usually be found on the front page of the article or in the article record if you are using a database to find the article. The year in which the article was published always appears in parentheses followed by a period. This formatting is particular to the date that the article was published. The next piece of information that should be included is the title of the article. There are a few things to remember about the formatting of the title of an article in the reference list. Number one, only the first word, proper nouns, and words appearing after a colon are capitalized. Number two, the title of the article is not underlined or italicized. It is simply written in plain text. Number three, after the title, you should add a period to separate this piece of information from the next piece of information. After the title of the article, we want to supply the information about the journal from which we pulled the article. When supplying information about the journal, remember, number one, the journal title should be written in title case. Each word, except for prepositions, should be capitalized. Number two, the title of the journal should be italicized. Number three, after the title of the journal, use a comma. Number four, there should be no space between the volume number and issue number. Number five, make sure that the volume number is italicized. Number six, make sure that the issue number is enclosed in parentheses. Number seven, after the issue number, you should add a comma. List the page numbers on which the article appears in the journal. Do this by putting in the first number dash last number. If the article has no page numbers because it was only released electronically, then omit the page numbers. Number nine, end the information about the journal with a period after the last page number. Finally, for articles retrieved online, we will need to supply either a DOI or a URL. If the article has been assigned a DOI, it will be listed with the record information in the database the article was retrieved from. Copy this number and paste it prefaced by the letters DOI colon. Note that DOI colon is lowercase. 
If an article does not have a DOI assigned, you will need to obtain a permanent link to the article. If you are using a library tool such as EBSCOhost, you will need to use the Permalink button under the Tools bar to generate a permanent link your readers can access later. Note, you should very rarely use the URL in the address bar when using library databases. These links are temporary and frequently cannot be used off campus anyway. While you may be able to retrieve the article using that link for a short time, they will eventually break and you will have no useful information for retrieving your resource. Write the words retrieved from and then paste the permalink. Retrieved should be capitalized and from should be lowercase. Do not add a period at the end of your citation. This can cause the DOI or URL to malfunction. Once you have strung those elements together and applied a hanging indent, you should have a complete academic journal reference for your project. If you have any questions about creating an academic journal article citation or using library resources to gather DOIs or permanent links, please let us know. You can contact us by using the Ask a Librarian link at the top of the homepage or by emailing us at askref at uwsuper.edu.